What's up guys, it's Christian. I'm back with another video today. Uh, tons, of, tons of stuff has happened up here at the shop house and I'm gonna make another quick little walkthrough. So let's get right into it. So we're gonna start off downstairs again, just like last video. Still waiting on the new cabinet to show up. Granted actually came off of this island. I'm gonna have to get some more adhesive, re-glue that on once I get the wheels and stuff on. Not a big deal. Now the biggest change for this video is gonna be the carpet. So we just got the carpet installed. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It matches the LVP perfectly. Yeah, I am super happy with how this carpet turned out. Originally, I was gonna do LVP flooring all through here and put a big area rug, but after thinking about it more, carpet was the decision I made. Let's see if we can't get a little shot of the sunset outside real quick. It's about 6.30 at night right now. It's been like 40, 50 degrees outside. You can see it's all muddy out here. Driveway's super muddy, but we're making do. So you can see right here, we have some edging trim. Now this goes, since the carpet's so much higher than the LVP, it reduces the size. I have that done upstairs in the master bedroom, so I'll be able to show you that up there. Also, we got the doors on going out to the shop. I had a lot of people commenting about this, wondering how I was gonna keep the fumes separate. And um, these are exterior doors, so they're sealed. There's no way fumes from the shop are gonna be coming into the living. We have exterior doors upstairs, right here, also into the storage room. There's no way fumes will be getting in here. I'll probably put an exhaust fan or something in out in the shop, just in case the vehicle's running, but. Okay, now we go, are going down to the Bedroom, downstairs. Also did carpet down here. Turned out awesome. So I gotta go through, trim out the windows, do the trim across the bottom here. Carpet through the closet. This is a really soft carpet. I went a little bit over budget on the carpet, but after going there and learning a lot about carpet and all the thread counts and all that kind of stuff. I think I made the right decision with going with a nicer carpet. So we'll go out in the shop for a minute here. And it's actually getting dark, so I think I'll run outside and show you guys some progress on the siding real quick. Got a little area rug right here. That way when you come in with your muddy boots, don't make a mess in the shop. So this is what we've been working on this weekend. Me and my dad actually took a, a couple days off of work to work on this, so. There's the siding on the front. So we were only three sheets short around the other side. So I'll go pick that up tomorrow and we'll be able to finish that up tomorrow. So I still gotta go through and do all the battens obviously, but yeah, it's looking awesome. I'm super happy with this board and batten so far. Goes up good. It's an engineered wood, so it doesn't have, it's not supposed to rot or anything like that, which is really cool. Also, I got a little bit more of this tongue and groove stuff done up here. I need to stain more. You can see it's dirty, it's dusty from sitting out in the shop. I need to get more stained and polyed so I can finish this up, but that's what's done so far. Come around front here real quick and get you a shot of this. Wish I had the upstairs lights on. This place glows like crazy can see it from miles away. So the sheets that I'm missing are right up there. You can see right there, a couple half, half sheets and a couple full sheets. So yep, that's what it looks like. And you can see where this tongue and groove will start, so it'll go all the way up to the deck. Also the Trex was just, we just got that ordered. Um, it was really expensive. <laughs> Another thing that kind of went a little bit over budget on, but I think it'll be worth it long-term, having a nice, good deck flooring. Don't gotta worry about it. Okay, we'll run inside real quick. So back in the shop, you can see, like right here has one coat of paint, right here is only primed. My parents have been up here doing the paint still. 
working on what they can when they can. Super helpful having them do that. You can see right here, it's got the full three coats. You got some lights in up there. You got some stairway lights. So yeah, this is awesome. It's super cool seeing it all white like this and with the, it's a semi-gloss out here, so it's super shiny. I can't wait to get the rest of these shop lights up here. So you can see right now it's lit up with one high bay. There's seven more going in and then I got a 10 foot fan that'll go right in the center of the shop that also has a light on it. Okay, we'll make our way upstairs. So still gotta do the LVP flooring on the stairs. Haven't got around to doing that yet. But you can see as soon as we get to the top of the stairs and obviously this will all have trim on it. So all those screw holes will be covered. This is what's left to start working on the stairs. So yeah, this LVP is awesome. Such a nice view of the shop. So as you can see, this is the storage room. Just have some tools there. HVAC vent, you can see some trim on the back right there. So here we are going into the master bedroom. Got the door up, still gotta do a lot of trim work. Come in here, flip the light on. Okay, now I'll show you the carpet in here. So we did a little walkway of this LVP. All the way out to the deck, all the way through the bedroom. Now I'll get you a shot of this reducer molding I was talking about. So yeah, it turned out super clean. You know, we got the 22.5 degree cuts here. All looks perfect. So the area of this carpet's probably, I would say it's about 11 feet by 14 feet. Got the same fans downstairs in here. We got the safe right here built into the wall. Now there was a little bit of a miscommunication with getting carpet in the closet and they didn't actually order carpet for the closet. So they're going to pick that up, I believe today, and they're going to get that installed as soon as possible. Not a big deal at all, it happens. So this will also be the same carpet and then the same molding that we have right here will also go across right there. And then this will all be trimmed, of course, trimmed around the safe so there's no gaps. All right, we'll run into the bathroom now. So here we are, we got the double vanity. I'll flip these on real quick. Kind of a warmer light with the vanity. Glows a little bit more. We have the freestanding tub in here. This is not where it's gonna be. That's the drain, so that'll be the center of the tub. Actually, it'll be right up against the window. But I have to go and get some green board and green board this and then they can tile it. Because originally I was going to do that same tongue and groove wood all the way up this, but I think it will look better if it is tiled to match the shower right here. So that's the plan with that now. And then we'll do glass up right here all the way to the ceiling. Still got to do a little bit of LVP here. Decided that we were going to start the shower right here and go this way with it. So this wall needs to be painted now and then it'll be about right here over tile. That tile will, tile will continue under this wall and stop here. So yeah, the Trex is ordered for the deck. I'm super excited about that. Once that goes on, I can start working on the railings out there. It's really starting to feel like a house now with this carpet in here. It's really cozy. And yeah, I, I think that's about it for this video. If you have any questions or any ideas about anything here, if there's things you think I should do, drop them in the comments below. I also have a PDF plan for this place that I designed by myself. So if you're interested in that, you can shoot me an email. I will leave that in the description below and I would be happy to send that to you and answer any questions you have about that. Um, there's still tons of stuff to do here. So when springtime comes, I'm gonna be planting tons of trees, flowers, bushes, all sorts of stuff. I wanna do a gate about halfway up the driveway, the lights down the driveway, so. Um, for those of you asking about future content, that's some of it. 
and you know fencing stuff like that so stay tuned for all that and until a couple more things change that's it for this video thanks for watching guys